people mm-hmm. are misguided this day because of this, this, this world of no yes mode. yes i'm doing well how are you i am fantastic everything is fine thank you that's great and what about your plans for weekend have you thought of something special special i work on weekend also yeah yeah you told me last time as well so even <laughs> for weekend it would be work yeah uh, yeah but i i work i uh, no, not no, i work full time but half time i work on on half time i work on my profession and half time i work on my self development mm i got you that's good enough some personal time is also necessary perfect then yeah. let's get started with the session any doubt any confusion before that no okay so today before the main topic you'll see that there are two extemporaries let's try to start with them the first one is about creativity it is saying that creativity is something that cannot be taught so do you think that is true that creativity cannot be taught being creative mm. it can be had to improve to develop that right i am a uh, suppose i am a fitness coach i have a better skill to become a good at working out or i am a you know uh, i am good at cooking mm-hmm. so if i want to scale up that skill mm-hmm. i need to to hire a coach who is better than me who cooks better than me mm-hmm. he can push me to make better version of myself right like like a sachin tendulkar he was good at playing cricket he had good creativity but still he hired a coach to become a better and better and better mm-hmm. right so yes always and uh, there is a room for always growth so mm-hmm. in order to grow uh, you need a guru or you need teacher or someone who can help you to make you a better version of yourself Mm-hmm. agreed but do you feel that you can teach creativity to something who is not creative for example can you teach someone how to play a cricket who naturally has no talent for cricket yeah of course if he is willing to if he is or she is willing to mm-hmm. every skill can be taught every creativity can be taught but the only one thing you need do you have will or not if you don't have have will nothing can be done for you even god it cannot help you mm-hmm. right so, so you need will absolutely if you are willing to put in the effort you will see the results you will feel that okay now it's working out perfect yeah. uh, would you say that you are a naturally creative person when it comes to creative things no i'm not i, I believe in hard work Uh, okay and whatever i have learn whatever i am today because of my hard work mm-hmm. uh creativity in the sense what about your creative aspects as in your drawing your writing your painting what about those creative no. things you're good at them no i learn i learn everything i learn i am not great i i think god has given me will power that's it i'm not creative mm-hmm. person all right i got you let's come to the second extemporary this one is asking that hard work is more important than talent so would you support that the talent is uh, not as important as hard work i actually i i i love working hard you know because talented people don't work out 12 hours 13 hours or 16 hours a day Mm-hmm. they may be lazy but lazy you know a people who don't work hard they cannot stay lazy they cannot procrastinate mm-hmm. right so i i love the people who work hard and even you are smart if you want to be smart without working hard hard you cannot be smart mm-hmm. right so hard work is always superior keep us it rather than working okay uh, hard work is smart oh that's okay but why if you work smart work 12 hour a day and they get the work done 12 times better 
But the world is much fun. Never works. Twelve hours or fourteen hours or sixteen hours. Mm -hmm. Right. So that thing. That is my point. True. You feel the talented people. They don't feel the need to give in the hours, the effort that is required to achieve yeah. perfection in something. But hardworking people would always. Yeah. Hardworking people, you know, make slave of smart people. Mm. If if you find the history, you know, if, if you Dale Carnegie or, or, or uh, Alibaba and what is it, Jack Ma, you know, or, or Andrew Tate, uh, many more. I I think many more people are they don't play the smart work and, and they smart just people of the world work for them, mm -hmm. right? The smartest people are slave of their life. And the people who have only mindset, great mindset, great mentality, and they have hunger to do something. They believe their hard work. They believe in their effort. Mm -hmm. Right. So have you ever seen any movie has come in, in, in our Bollywood or in Tollywood on this smartness? Mm -hmm. Whatever, you know, the movie, if you have seen, no, the, that is a movie. All are from the people who have done hard, hard work. They have done you know, remarkable work. That people can say, cannot, you know, think that it is possible, it is feasible. Mm -hmm. Right. True. That is true, that hard work always wins the race. No matter how smart you're working, if you lack the hard work, smartness doesn't take you too far. That, hard work does. That, that is still limit. That is limited. Mm -hmm. True, true. Do you follow Andrew Tate? Yeah, I I do follow. He, he is, uh, I think he is my inspiration, Andrew Tate. <laughs> uh, many times he says many controversial things. What do you think about that? I think whatever he said, yeah, sometimes yeah, that's good. I, I, I follow me. The, his intention is great, you know. In, there is no bad intention, whatever he says, there is no bad. This it, is true. But, you know, most of the people feel bad or something. I, I, but I listen to him. I listen. I love uh, listening. What about the thing that he recently went to jail for, that he was caught for human trafficking? What about that? <laughs> I actually very honest. Uh, he yeah, uh, he called for that. I, I there is a video uh, interview for two four hours after he just released from the jail mm -hmm. and and uh, there is a, also I follow him. He took his interview for four hours video long video and uh, he uh, I didn't go through that interview because uh, I don't know why I didn't ask him. I didn't go through his interview, so I love that guy. I, I don't know. I love I I, I because why I, I love that guy because he is you know uh I think his mind is totally strong. He he motivates me. If you are dumb, if it's still if you can control your mind, if you can you know take oath that I have to change my life. And and he was not he was not great. You know, if you talk about in 2012, 2013, he was not that much, you know, intelligent. He was a fighter in UFC. But he only one thing he changed his life that he wanted to buy, you know, live a luxury life. He wanted to buy a luxury life. And he within a week, he learned every, you know, technical things like how to make a website. Within a week, he learned how to make a website. He made a web. Uh, uh, website, webcam, web website, from, from that he became rich. So he, he said that if you are bad at any skill, what you have to do, you have to devote your heart and soul, your each and everything to learn in that skill. It doesn't matter regardless of how hard you are working, how many days it's going to take, you know, how how how, how bad you are facing, uh, you know, uh, circumstances you have. If you, once you are committed, you can attack it. And that's what I did. I was not smart. I was not talented. I was I I, I was not you know uh, excellent at, at studying studying and technical things. But I learned. 
Absolutely, absolutely. So no matter where we are starting from, if we have good intention, if we have the spirit needed to achieve the goals, we can achieve greater things in life. Yeah. True. All right, let's come to the main topic then. This one is about a hypothetical case if you could become a character from a book. So first of all, have you read some of the fictional books, fictional novels? Or just the non-fiction? I, I, I don't read fiction books. I, I read non-fiction. All right. So what about movies? Do you watch fictional movies? Stories? I used to watch, but I, I, I don't watch now movies or a story. I, I read books and I think I have, I have discussed this topic a few couple of you know, sessions back. I, we got the same topic. About so books? That, uh, yeah, about uh, about the book. No, no, not about the book. The top, we, two days back, I got the same topic on this clapping of platform. Okay, okay. You have discussed about this topic. Have you yes. discussed the extempories as well? Did we repeat the extempories? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Obviously, we discussed about the all everything on, about this topic. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm not able to catch. Are you saying that have you discussed the extemporary topics with somebody else already? Yes. So you yes. told me earlier only we wouldn't have discussed those topics. We would have discussed about something else. No problem, no problem. That's okay. All right. I'll give you a simple topic. You took out a book. Why did you take out that book? Because uh, I took out because this is the man. Okay, as you said what character you want to be, so whether you have watched okay. movie or books. So I wanted to explain about that man. Are you right. sure you want to explain it? Because you have already discussed. If you feel it is... No, let, let's, let's change it. Let's change it. I, I have discussed about many times in, with my friends, with my no talk show. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, I'll give you a simple extemporary topic then. Let's prepare for that. It is on women empowerment. So, what do you think about it? What are your thoughts on it? What do you understand by it? I, that means the women should be getting same kinds of rights as men have, right? Yeah, giving power to women. Yeah, power. Yes, absolutely. I, I support that women empowerment. But first of all, before asking for empowerment, you should understand the, what is the role and responsibility of women or a man on this planet. Mm -hmm. If you do not know why you are on this, what is the role and responsibility? Why God created women? Why God created men? Mm -hmm. and, and, and you are asking for women empowerment. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> it, it's, 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 it's not intelligent. It's not wise. Mm -hmm. Right. And if I talk here about the role and responsibility of women, most of the people, I am going to upload this video on YouTube. So maybe most of the women not feel good because they will say, oh, what is he talking? This, that. And it is written in scriptures. If it, it is written in you know, a, a books that is you know, written by our essence, uh, you know, God. Mm -hmm. Women are protect, you know, Encourager. Their duty is to encourage their husband, their, their brother, their sister. And men, you know, duty and principle is to protect female. female. Mm -hmm. If I am here, if something wrong happened with my daughter or, or with my sister, with my wife, and I am not fulfilling that requirement, what is needed to be done, I am not a man. Mm -hmm. Right. And if I am, oh no, I'm even hovering here and there, I have no any direction, I, I'm, I could not find out the purpose of my life, I'm on wrong track. If you are my wife or, or if you are my sister, if you are my you know, uh, friend, and if you are not encouraging me to come on the right path, you are not my true sister, you are not my true you know, wife or mother or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. So first of all, the fundamental of being a woman, okay, a man, we must understand why. What is the principle? What God has given a, a principle, a role, a responsibility on this planet? 
are you fulfilling that role and responsibility? If you're not fulfilling, you don't have right to ask, oh, okay, a woman in power and not men in power. Please tell me. You were saying that uh, men and women have their gender roles and they have to stick to their gender yes. roles? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. Women are producer, you know? Women are mm -hmm. producer. They are on this planet to produce things which is needed to run on this, this world. Mm -hmm. Right? If I will give you a vegetable, your, your duty is to make a, you know, a food. Right. Mm -hmm. If I will give you a house, your duty is to make a temple or home. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. So most of people, the, this role do not do not know. Most of the men do not know. Most of the women do not know. They only oh, I have high hundred percent. Oh no, it's, I have fifty percent right to do this thing, do that things. Okay, mm -hmm. you can. You have right, of course you have. First of all, you have to understand the basic. You are running away from your role and responsibility and you are asking and you are competing with the man. No. Mm -hmm. God is not going to be happy with you. Okay. All right. So you feel that people have to stick to their roles, whatever has been written in the scriptures. That's how they should be following it. Rest of the things yes. are secondary. Rest of the things are secondary. Yes, yes, yes. And this day, you know, obviously, if you have, you know, talent, if you have capability, you can do it. But don't forget about you know, your, your role and responsibility. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Your husband is broke and your brother is broke. And because of his broke, you are, instead of encouraging him, instead of, you know, motivating him, you are, you know, separating from him. Mm -hmm. oh, because you don't have job, I cannot stay with you. You don't have money, I cannot marry you. I, you don't have, you know, uh, you don't fulfill my responsibility. Uh, so I, I, I cannot longer stay with you. I cannot stay married with you. No. Mm -hmm. Your duty, your duty, if your husband is, you know, uh, directionless, your duty to take him on the direction. Right? Mm -hmm. He has mm -hmm. not any you know, discipline or, or character. Your duty is to you know, take him or build discipline in. If your mm -hmm. wife is not, you know, uh, not uh, behaving good, uh, then same, same way, if your wife is not good, uh, your duty is to still, she is my wife. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I have got married with her. Okay, it, 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 I have to fulfill his all desire, all wishes. Doesn't matter how mm -hmm. bad she is. Right. Absolutely. How I see it is that there's always a contribution of you giving 100% and your partner giving 100%. So I do not see it as one person's responsibility to do everything, that it is only the man's responsibility to protect women. It's also the responsibility of the women to protect her family and vice versa, to encourage each other. So even though these yeah. gender roles there have there has to be something that we understand that these gender roles were built thousands of years ago. So following them now, not understanding how the world has evolved, wouldn't be accurate either. Wouldn't you agree? I'm sorry, I didn't get second, please. Yeah, I'll repeat that part. The, the gender roles which were built thousands of years ago they have evolved over time. The society has evolved over time. Like the roles which were written, there wasn't even a concept of work. There weren't jobs as they are right now. People were living a different life. There was a different system altogether. So do you feel that now the gender roles have evolved as compared to how they were earlier? Yeah, it's evolved. Yeah, obviously. And, mm -hmm. and, and it's a rule of nature. Everything will be evolved after ten. What is, oh no, the 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 culture was ten years, twenty years back. That is not the same, mm -hmm. right? Right. So I I am a fitness coach. Okay, my duty is to you know make people uh, aware about the fitness. After ten years, I will do. If it's my role and responsibility, after ten years, will I misguide about fitness? No. Mm -hmm. it, 
doesn't matter how wealthy I am or how poor I am. If it's fitness is right for your health, then it is. If I'm multi-millionaire wo- woman, okay, and my mm. husband is broke, it's my duty to uh, to just leave him because he's broke, he's jobless. No, my still I am multi-millionaire. Woman, still, my duty is to um, make him to become. He's also multi He can also become multi-millionaire, a millionaire. Right. So that's what okay. we need to inculcate in my mind. His husband, his husband forever. His husband forever, not temporarily. What happens if the husband is earning 20,000 pounds and, 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 and his wife is earning 30 or 40,000 rupees? Did the woman are not listening to his husband? Or husband are not listening to his, no? uh, uh, his wife? Hey, you are staying at home, just cook food. Uh, will you teach me? To make money and how we are to go, we are to go. I am feeding you. You are my mother. We should know it like mm-hmm. that. Right. See, is, see is the reason whatever you Absolutely. have. Okay. And he is the reason whatever uh, she has. But people mm-hmm. are misguided this day because of this, this, this world of no. modernity or people are watching this, that. So I think I think next 20 years or 30 years, there is no, no a deep relation between anybody. Everything will be lost. Everybody has a uh, relationship between son and daughter or, or uh, son or mother. Everything will be, you know, just temporarily. There is no emotion mm-hmm. who will be between two people. Let's see. I have seen. I agree. It is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Please tell me you have seen. I, I see that they're in the marketplace. Everybody looking for you know, happiness in outer world. Going out. Oh, mm-hmm. someone should love me. Oh, okay. From uh, uh, some, I'm looking for love. Someone should love me. I'm looking for a partner. Someone should uh, look. Uh, I, I'm looking for outer side. But everything inside you first fix your intention, fix your attitude. Everything will be come to you. If if, if you are looking for, you can get you can get it. But that will be temporarily. Once she or he will get to know the reality, she or he will be, leave you again. Right. True. True. Uh, so you feel that world is a give and take now. You give something, that's how you take in return. There is no genuine love, emotion, care these days. And they are searching for external support and love. There's no self-love, no internal motivation at all. Yeah, even they have everything. They have a husband, they have wife, they have kids. Still, they are love spending time, okay, out, out, then staying, love, staying at home. Mm-hmm. Right. True. I, I am talking with my parents. Okay. And parents are thinking, okay, uh, son, would you like to have me eat one more chapati or eat me? And son is you no know, chatting with his friend and uh, he's you no know, busy on his cell phone. There is no connection. Rather than keeping attention on the food or on his parents, he's keeping attention on his friend on social media. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That is true that the love that families shared among each other that has been distributed by getting distracted with social media, technology, something that is not even real, something which is intangible. Yes. Intangible, yeah. Absolutely, that's the harsh reality. And as you said, for the upcoming years, it is not even going to change that. True. All right, then. On that note, quickly wrapping up this session for you. Just these two words I'm going to type. Let me know how you'll read it. How will you read this? Live and live. Second one, how did you read it? Read it again. Live. There's a difference. Okay, the first one that is live. It is quick. Uh, Live. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, Like live. live. Yes. And the second one is leave like leave. go away that leave so be very mm-hmm. cautious it's getting mixed up sometimes so it sounds very similar so i would suggest practice the i e tongue twisters i might have told you about the tongue twisters in our earlier sessions no yes, yes. yeah yeah yes 
for the sound i and e tongue twister so that you can practice it and it comes out fluently other than that you spoke really well no grammar errors were made you were confident expressive which is a wonderful thing now apart from this i'll suggest to let's include more and more adjectives and phrasal verbs these will really elevate your language your speech so whatever you're saying it will sound more powerful more impactful whenever we'll use adjectives and phrasal verbs so every day just learning a couple of new words couple of adjectives couple of uh, phrases that would really enhance the vocab like for today i can give you simple ones like put on i'm hoping you understand what is put on put on what is yes put uh, that is putting your clothes on your body or putting shoes absolutely mm -hmm. that put on your coat and sometimes it is also used for weight like your clients must say that i've put on some weight this winter help me shed it so in that case also we can use it so very simple word but it will bring a little bit of variety in our daily vocab yes that is it for the session it was nice meeting you after such a long time have a great okay. and a wonderful weekend ahead thank you much so much for the and have a good day okay yeah, you too Bye-bye. Take care.